This is Twit. I tweeted a neat graphic which uh, popped onto the net last week showing, I, I think I, I tweeted the bots are winning or something to that effect. This is a result of an analysis showing the, the bot versus human traffic distribution, which is to say the traffic on the internet generated not by human activity, but by automated activity as is in in 2012, 51% of the traffic was non-human agents. In 2013, that 51% has expanded to 61.5. So an additional 10%. Human use has dropped to 38.5. Th <laughs> but that's kind of to be expected. This is mach machines talk to machines and can do it much more rapidly than a human can. Yes, and and so for example, search engines of of the sixty one point five, you know, majority of the of the traffic, thirty one point one. So half of that sixty one and a half percent, thirty one percent, is search engines and other good bots. And this isn't so, a so, surprise to anybody who has their own website because if you look at the log. Oh. There's always a crawler from one of the search engines in, in yes. our sites, and, always. And in fact, the, the other day, I looked at my perfect passwords page, which, you know, I mean, I'm using a password that I, from my Wi-Fi to protect my various Wi-Fi uh, routers that I got from GRC. You, I just can't get a more absolutely unbiased random blob designed for Wi-Fi than, than from GRC. But... On the day that I looked at it, there there had been like twelve thousand average pulls, and it normally runs like three or four. So I'm thinking, okay, it must now be that some automated thing is just going there right. and sucking a lot of pages in order to collect random noise from GRC. It's like, okay, well, I got to go put a, put a stop to that one of these days. That's not on my priority list. But what is what is know, so, Netflix? Is that a bot? I mean, if I go watch a stream, is that a human interaction? I wouldn't How think so. How do they so. classify that? Well, so so 31% is search engines and other good bots. Then 5% is scrapers, and what I just described was a scraper. Something is scraping my site. There, you know, I designed this page for a person to a one person to go and get one piece of 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 very very high quality pseudo random data for their own use but something i'm thinking is scraping my site and it's the same way like you know craigslist has complained about scraping you know other people set up bots to go and like scrape it and ebay has the same problem so they're scrapers who are pretending to be humans that are collecting data from websites five percent of the bots are doing that Four and a half percent are hacking tools. I don't know what that actually means, what, what they qualify. Half a percent are spammers. And then 20 and a half are, quote, called other impersonators. Uh, anyway, just some interesting stats that, you know, over time, the clearly human use of the Internet is increasing from 2012 to 2013. We know that's increasing as all of us now have smartphones, there, there's additional points of entry to the internet, may, allowing us to use more of our day hooked to the net. So human traffic on the internet is growing, but non-human traffic is growing faster than human traffic, such that, you know, we're losing out as a percentage, which is, uh, you know, interesting. As you said, not unexpected, but it, to me, the reason it makes sense is there's never been anything more automatable than the internet. It, you know, it's it's a bunch of protocols that obey rules. And so, yes, a human running a browser can click a URL and pull up a page. But so can a machine. And so machines are. People have found all kinds of reasons to, to have machines doing that.